nice rock and roll collectors or killer collectibles for you. I think that's the best one I've done. So I just got these two figures for early Christmas presents. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but I my brother suckered my mom into, so that's how I got Elbert. Some Russian name, Winter 1942. Um, so I'm just going to be doing going in more to more detail with this figure and then just kind of doing an overview of both Dave and Albert. So, starting off with Dave, uh, he is from Normandy 1944. He is the, um, he's from the 1st Infantry Division, or the Big Red one, which is most commonly known. Um, we have his M1 Steel Pot helmet with the strap across it. He had a pretty impressive head sculpt for, what, 20 years this figure is? How old now? He's got a standard field jacket, the ammo pouch, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Um, I just put the ammo in there because I realized that it could actually open. Some actual ammo pouches that I know are ammo pouches. Um, his gun is strapped on his back. Down there, I use another pouch, which, I, like I said before, I'm not too familiar with the U.S. uniform. Um, he has the standard field trousers. Um, the boots and the leggings, which are together commonly referred to as gator boots. Um, just kind of flipping them around. He has a sergeant rank on his um, arm. He has his holster. And you can see his Thompson M1A1 SMG on his strap right there. He has his canteen, his bayonet. Going around to this side, he has the big red one division pauldron and the sergeant pauldron so yeah so I'm just trying to turn this guy around without freaking knocking him over and then knocking this guy over in the process alright so this getting this guy guy to have all his gear on the proper um, places was like a nightmare so I guess I just paid off now he has his M4, okay, just starting with him, he has his M42 field cap, which the little insignia fell off, but I don't really care, which it kind of gives it some battle damage more than it already comes with. Maybe it just worn off, I don't know. Um, his head sculpt is pretty good. He has his um, German head sleeve, which I just learned about that. I thought it was a balaclava until now. Um, I just looked at the back of the box. Um, I, get a, I get a lot of reference from the back of the box. Um, he has his strap, which is for his gas mask canister. He has his uh, combat parka, his winter combat parka. He has his Y straps, which I always think are really annoying to try and set up. He has his M24 uh, grenades, his ammo pouches. This one really interesting. It came to the cigarette. I just have his Car 98 rifle in his hand. He has the winter combat trousers and the standard boots, which I may or may not be specific for winter use. So I'm just going to pause the video to turn this guy around. All right. So he has a size hood, gas mask container, bread bag, mask pin, and canteen, and then just the back of all this kind of stuff. So I'll be back with these guys both in their kind of positions. I might as well take this time to see the box. So yeah, Eastern Front Panzer Grenadier, uh, Panzer Grenadier Regiment One Army Group Center. So it's uh, the older figures have an illustrated box, but the newer ones just show the actual figure. So I'll be back when I have these guys in their position positions. All right. So yeah, would I recommend you both of these figures? Yeah, as I said before, they are really good for how old they are. This one's 2003, so around the range of 20 years. That one is actually, this year will be 20 years, but this guy's 2003, so pretty much two, just around that kind of range. So, yeah, these guys can still hold their own against new figures, and they're actually really accurate. And they just have really good details, like kind of the, where the German mess tin, at least, where you can open it and then it kind of turns into a frying pan. You can actually do this that with this figure. You can open up the gas container, um, or the gas mask container, if I said that in the earlier part of the video. Sorry. And this one even comes with a cigarette. Don't smoke, kids, but it's 
what they did during the times of World War II and, you know, around that time period. And you can just open the bread bag, and even with this one, you can open up that pouch, you can open up the, uh, you can actually take out the mag for the pistol, you can put in a holster, um, just really great detail. And if these were one of the cheaper, kind of newer figures, you probably wouldn't be able to take the helmet off or put any, like, the, uh, the field parka, the winter field parka, you probably wouldn't, that would just come on. Yeah, this is actual, like, material, so, not just the whole thing is plastic, so, yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe, because, you know, you can watch my videos. And like, because that's a huge support. Out.